the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20, verses 1 through 18. The Ten Commandments. God spoke all these words, saying, The Lord am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me, but showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not swear falsely by the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not clear one who swears falsely by his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, your son or daughter, your male or female slave, or your cattle, or the stranger who is within your settlements. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and sea, and all that is in them, and he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and mother that you may long endure on the land that the Lord your God is assigning to you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female slave or his ox or his ass or anything that is your neighbor's. All the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the blare of the horn and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they fell back and stood at a distance. You speak to us, they said to Moses, and we will obey, but let not God speak to us lest we die. Moses answered the people, be not afraid, for God has come only in order to test you and in order that the fear of him may be ever with you so that you do not go astray. So the people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick cloud where God was.